and we are here with another episode of Cocktails and Creativity. Today, we are going to make little teeny tiny boxes, um, and we're going to make them out of um, recycled Christmas cards. Excellent. So, not that you don't care enough about the people that, you know, send them to you that you keep them all. It's a way of being green. It, it uh, is! We, we you know, re- reduce, recycle. It, it is. And so these people talking are my friends. Trish. <laughs> Hi. And Andy. Hello. Okay, now. Oh, here we go. Behold. Oh. <laughs> Coquito. Hang on. <coughs> You'd have to behold it again. Behold. The Coquito. Oh. 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 Coquito is Puerto Rican eggnog, and sometimes it doesn't actually have eggs in it, and sometimes it does. This one in particular does not. Okay, so this is... This is delicious. Wow. I know it, right? It kills me. It's um, boring stuff like evaporated milk and sweetened condensed milk, but mm. it has coconut cream. Oh. Yeah, not just like coconut milk or coconut water. Cream of freaking coconut people huh. and vanilla <laughs> vanilla and cinnamon and then of course you have to garnish with some freshly grated nutmeg and cinnamon and cinnamon steak oh, God! Mm. what booze is in this rum oh, oh. rum rum rum's in oh. it oh yeah i was gonna say because it tastes like there's something <laughs> yep. yeah there's some rum and it's it's really super easy you just put all the stuff in a blender and, okay. and then let it chill So today we are going to utilize our leftover Christmas cards and maybe some Christmas gift wrap to make um, new fun things like little boxes. Very um, cute. You could even do, I did a little pre-wrap, pre-wrapped gift here. Oh, look and see, remember from our, uh, uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, from yep. our little, mm-hmm. uh-huh, so I, I used that as a gift tag with our little wine corks. So I actually cut out um, one of the cards and just did a little hole punch and um, so you can do gift tags in that way. Those are out of, you know, your leftover cards. Pick the fun part of the card. Don't pick a boring part, pick a fun part when you're when you're thinking about okay. what you're going to do for your little box. Okay. Okay. Now, we have templates or was, not templates, but kind of a handout, I guess, yeah. right? Directions. We have directions and these can be yours too. 19 simple steps. <laughs> really scary when you look at all that oh my god it's so easy it's totally totally easy <laughs> and it gets easier it does ah, mm. i know you would think the coquito would make it more complicated right. but um i'm pretty sure it'll i'm make feeling it pretty good about it and these are thanks to our friends at think make share right? yes think make share and uh there will be a link mm, mm, below to <laughs> the uh blog article and the little and the little handout because it is a handy reference it is. Yeah. But after you make the first one, psh, it's yeah. like, yeah, it's yeah. like in your brain. Awesome. Okay. Okay. So pick a fun card. You're going to make a top box and then the little bottom box. And the little bottom box is um, just about a quarter of an inch smaller okay. than the top of your box. But all that is in your, um, in your directions. Awesome. So go. how you do this in 19 easy steps <laughs> select your card <laughs> it doesn't matter what size it is it just needs to be square so you start with a rectangle turn it into a square the bottom will be a smaller square a quarter of an inch smaller so now we have our two squares the big one that's gonna be the top of the box and the not so big one that's gonna be the bottom of the box and now I'm gonna draw some lines I'm gonna make an X from corner to corner Boom. Boom. See? X. Corner to corner, corner to corner. After you get your lines drawn, you are going to fold the point that's towards you. You're going to fold that away from you. And then the top one, you're going to fold down so that they meet at that center line. Get a good crease in there because those are your markers for later. And then you're going to double fold again so it meets that line. Okay? So I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to repeat the process. I'm gonna turn it and do it the same on the other side. Fold towards the middle, the double fold going. So once you unfold it all, you can see um, a grid pattern all over the whole thing. But 
there in the center, those four little squares, that's where there are no creases and that's gonna be the top of your box. So you can kind of see how that's gonna be right there. Then you're gonna take your pencil and make uh, dots in the four corners of what the top of that box is gonna be on the back side there. You're gonna draw your cut lines straight down and then the opposite. So you've got your dots in the four corners and your cut lines. Try not to go past the dots because that's the corner of your box. And now the folding begins. And you might want to have a little bit of glue or a little bit of tape to hold down some of the inner parts. Look at that, it's gonna be a box. The so look. Oh, that's pretty. I know you like it. Superstar. You're a star. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just do the same thing, the exact same thing for the bottom. Um, it's just a little bit smaller, like I said, a quarter inch smaller square than your top. Now is my favorite part! After the cocktail part! <laughs> <laughs> it's the show and tell part! Show and tell! My little gold star one is finished. Aww. And That's cute. I know, I stole that, uh, the little jewel idea from Trish. Yes, I did. And then did a little coordinating trim. Right? Love it. That's really cute. Right? Yep. What are you going to do? Okay, okay. Well, I did this one <gasps> where I found this little embellishment put oh, on my snowflake. Nice. Was that, on, that was on one of those cards? That was on one of the cards. I couldn't tell you which one. But bang! Yeah, and then on the inside, I used some of the leftover oh. wrapping paper oh, to line it. I and just it. put a little splash of color on mm -hmm. the inside. Um, those look like real actual gift boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I went to school for that. I would buy <laughs> that um, in store. Uh, I would totally buy that! Mm -hmm. Okay, I have um, a little bird one. I that love it. That it's beginning. That That's really so cute. much. Um, that has, um, I fixed it so it would say home <gasps> on the back. Oh, when you care enough. Right? Mm. And I did, best. I found a little tiny, um, shiny thing on mm -hmm. something else and put it there. I love, love it. it. And then, uh, this is my other one. <sighs> And it's still drying, so it may not hold together. But I took the insides of two cards, and this is, you can barely see it has some shiny. And then um, on the inside of this one, I cut out a thing from a card. That's very ah! clever. And, and it then, fit! And it fit. Oh I my gosh. Out. I had to cut a lot. Okay. I just kept cutting. Okay, but it still fit! And then on the other one, I did a little thing to cover up the glue on the ribbon that I stole from another card. <laughs> and the poinsettia that I stole from yet. Another, another card. card. So yeah, I, I used like it. like four different cards to do this. <gasps> you guys, we made little boxes. This was super fun. And they're so cute. I love little boxes. I like these little boxes. And if you like them, you should like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, you can do that down below. <laughs>